Alright, what do we want to do now? Find horizontal and vertical tangents. Well, the points at which they occur. And I want to emphasize the points at which they occur. We're looking for the actual points of horizontal and vertical tangents. And here's the idea. Which one's a horizontal line? A horizontal line is like a horizon. Yeah, sure. So we're looking for horizontal tangents. Is that horizontal? No. Is that horizontal? No. Is this horizontal? Yes. We're looking for this point here, a horizontal tangent. We're looking for this point here, a horizontal tangent. This is just the idea. What are we looking for? All all right, we're looking for a horizontal tangent and when. Does that happen? We're dealing with these parametric equations. All right, so, 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 if I'm looking for that point there, I'm looking at my y. My y goes up, 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 down. All right, when does that happen? That happens when dy dx is equal to zero because it changes from a positive slope to a negative slope and then I change to a vertical tangent. That's the up and down one. The up and down one. So if I'm looking for an up and down tangent, it's not here. That's flat. It's not here. That's mm, positive. It's right here. Yes. That guy right there. All right. That's going to give us a vertical tangent. And then that's also a vertical tangent because if we're following our tangent line, our tangent is going to be vertical there. But what is that? Represent where does it come from? I'm looking at my change in x when I'm looking for vertical tangents. So my change in x, x is increasing, x is increasing, x is increasing, x is increasing, x is decreasing, x is decreasing, x is decreasing. There's one number in the entire world that's in between positive and negative, and that's when dx dt is equal to zero. And that's the idea. When dx dt is equal to zero, the entire differential is undefined, but we get a vertical tangent there, because you can never divide by zero. And um, in a moment, we're going to get some equations. Okay, so we get the idea. Now let's go and get the points. All right. So my functions are x is represented and expressed in t's, and those t's are going to be z cubed and minus 3 times t. My y is in t's and that's t squared minus 3. All right. So what do I want to do first? First, let's get the um, horizontal tangent. The horizontal tangent is going to happen when my y's stop going down and start going up, or stop going up and start going down. So we're looking for d y d t, because that's the change in y with respect to t. And we're looking where that slope is changing z from positive to negative or negative to positive. So I go and I look at the derivative of that. So that's going to be 2t. And then what do I want to see? I want to see where dy dt is equal to 0. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put that dy dt 2t. And then I'm going to set it equal to 0. And that happens when t is equal to 0. So all right, we're here now. Now we have our t value. So we need to get our, whoa, emphasize the word points. We need to get our points, and our points are in x, y. That's why I'm going to put my 0 into my x and my y. And I do that. Oh, smudge. And when x is equal to, put zeros in there. You know what? I'll even use that notation. x of 0 is 0 to the third minus 3 times 0, which is going to be a big fat 0. All right. Now my points are of the form x comma y. So I need to go find where y is when t is 0. And that happens when I put that in there. So y of 0. All right. And I put that in 0 squared minus 3. So that's going to be a minus 3. And my point of horizontal tangency happens when boom x is 0 and y is a minus 3. I found my horizontal tangent and I can put it right here 0 minus 3 boom there's going to be a nice horizontal tangent at that point but without going off on a tangent I want to find my vertical tangencies where my entire differential is undefined. Now I do that when dx dt 
is equal to zero. So when dx dt is equal to zero, that's when I'm going to get my vertical tangency. So then what do I int I need dx dt. That's 3t squared minus 3. All right. I set that equal to zero and 3t squared minus 3. All right. Like ninja, boom. That's 3 divided by 3, boom. 1 is equal to t squared. So I'm not going to forget the plus and minus 1. Why did you get plus and minus? Because whenever you take the square root, you're not going to forget the plus and minus. Now you need to consider two cases. One when t is positive one. When t is positive one, I go and I put it up there. I'm looking at x of one, all right? So that's one to the third minus three times one. Oh, so that's one minus three is a minus two. Oh, okay. So then my y of one, that's when, I put my 1 squared minus 3. What am I using? I'm using that guy up there. I'm using my x and y. I'm finding the points. So that's 1 minus 3 is a minus 2. What's my point? My point is uh, minus 2, 2. <laughs> wait, wait. Y, 1 squared is 1. That's a minus 2. All right. Y, 1 minus 3. Okay, that's a minus two, so why not? Minus two, minus two. Ooh, so I have a vertical tangency right here. See? Boop. Let's go and get the other one. When y is equal, or when t is equal to a minus one. When t is equal to a minus one. When t is equal to a minus 1, x of minus 1 is a minus 1 to the third minus 3 times a minus 1. Minus 1 to the third is a minus 1. All right. Minus and minus make plus 3, and we see that's going to be 2. So we need our other point when y, y of minus 1. y of minus 1, I put that there. Minus 1 squared minus 3. Okay, march this out. That's a minus 2. So what's my point? My point is that this is, um, 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 two minus two. So my other point of vertical tangency is at two minus two. Bam. There's going to be a virgin vertical tangent there. So this is all happening when, when t is zero. Okay. T is one. Okay. T is minus one. Okay. So when t is minus 1, this is going to be my first point. 2 minus 2. Because we're going in the order of t's, here we see that our graph is going to go and bounce off of here. Then it's going to bounce off of here and bounce off of here. And it's not clear what the rest of the graph is doing because we're not looking at that. But what do we have now? Bam, bam, bam. Oh, is it a circle? No. Why? Because there aren't other any other horizontal tangencies. There would be a horizontal tangency there if it was going to continue in that cycle. But, hmm. Hmm. Done.